born but Babylon raised. My father never played no games, so I changed my ways. Making sure I was upright repeatedly. Then all of a sudden my life changed immediately. Never envisioned living a life full of lust and sinning. And so I made a decision that started from the beginning. Uh, I keep my mind on a mission, I'm a prophet. So my job is to warn all the wicked, they can't stop it. Yeah, keep commandments and you'll live. Never thirst again. That living water he will give and take discipline. So we don't die no more, don't cry no more. Look up at the sky no more, don't sign no more. Christ is coming to deliver me, he gon' set us free. I'm tired of slaving in this misery. Counted the cost long time ago I'm just waiting for the Lord to say it's time to go Let's work oh, The only hope is in these laws but So we don't fall We be here keeping commandments, man oh, The devil's trying to break my wall but So we don't fall We be here keeping commandments, man oh, Scripture flexing with my Bible on me Where's yours? I'm just checking, homie Take a glance, you don't stand a chance While we got our Bibles in hand Keeping commandments Okay, so this is that statement I have a complete problem with. You're reading the wrong parts of the Bible. You won't read the Bible. What's your name? Brian. 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 Yes, it does matter. All right, so nameless guy that don't know squat. Give me Romans 15 and verse 4. I'm going to show you something. Romans 15 and verse 4. The problem is, is that the parts of the Bible that you that you know that's been read to you feed their pockets. The parts of the Bible that you know has been taught to you by the conquistadors. They, 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 taught, they taught your grandma, and your grandma taught your mama, and your mama taught you. That's the parts of the Bible you know. Now watch this. Read this. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written. One more time. For whatsoever things. One more time. For whatsoever things. For whatsoever things were what? They were written a four time, or four time is before us in this Bible. Read. They were written for our learning. So that's everything in the Bible that was written was written for our learning. There is no parts of the Bible. Now watch this. Give me Isaiah 35 and verse 7. The problem is that you don't know the Bible. We out here teaching the Bible, but you've been in, you've been in Catholic school, Sunday school for so long that you don't know the Bible. But you, guess what? They've been talk, they've been teaching you the Bible to be a slave. Isaiah 35 verse 7. Read. Isaiah 35 verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. Read it again. I form the light and create darkness. The heaven, the God of heaven and earth said He forms the light and He created darkness. Read on. I make peace and create evil. What did God say He did? I make peace. God says yes. He does put peace on earth. And what else does He do? And create evil. And the God of heaven creates evil. Was that was that thing when they took your your forefathers and the slavery and shipped them all across the earth? Was that was that a good thing or evil? Was it a good thing or an evil? Was it a good thing or an evil? Thing? Watch this. When they were, when they were stringing your your foremothers up by the, by the, by their legs and cutting the babies out of their stomachs, was that a good thing or an evil thing? I'm gonna read you what God said Himself. Read it again. I from the light. God says He created light. Read on. And create dark. And God says He created the darkness. Read on. I make peace. God says He puts peace on earth. Read on. And create evil. And God says He's the one that puts evil in the earth. Read on. I the Lord. Who? I the Lord. Who? I the Lord. Do all these things. The Most High God says He puts peace and evil on the earth. We said that. I didn't say none of that. We read it out the Bible. That's right. We read That's it right. out the Bible. Give me Isaiah. Give me Amos three. What's that? Verse seven. Of the trumpet. That's crazy.
in the middle of Wednesday Bible study for an hour and then unload the entire clip and kill nine people, including a senator of the state. That was evil in that city. Right, and then, and then reloaded it and continued to shoot. That was an evil thing. Was it not? Was it not? Read on. Shall there be evil in a city? When it was evil in South Carolina, read. And the Lord have not done it. Who did it? And the Lord have not done it. There's no evil that is done on this earth that the Lord does not have his hand in. That's this right. is the thing that you don't understand about your God. This is the same God that killed everybody on the planet except for eight people. Right. Did you have you not been reading or have you been reading John 3.16 to you? You have to read the rest of the Bible because the thing is, is that you don't know God. You think you know God. The God that you know is that is the white man with a big beard and a, and a white nightgown that they show on family God. That's not the God of heaven and earth. That's a cartoon character. The God of heaven and earth will put you to death. That's like he did that's like he did everybody that lived in Noah's time. I didn't say God's bad. He said he created evil on the earth. This is the same watch this. This, this, this is the same God that killed the firstborn of every child in Egypt. Did he not? Did he not? Did he not kill the firstborn baby? Not grown man, the firstborn child in the land of Egypt. Did he not do that? So does God kill children? So watch this. Does God kill children? Does God kill children? Does God kill children? Yes, he does. Now, guess what? He can do that. Why? Because he is God. There is no other beside him. So the God that you know is a fairy tale. The God of this Bible is what is real. This is what you have to understand. What you got? Read that, please. First John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. See, the reason we know these things about our God is because we keep his He puts peace on the earth. He knows that he watches over the saints. He knows that he rejects other nations. We know this because we keep his commandments. Read on. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Come on. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. 99.999% of the human race says that they know God, but they do not keep God's commandments. Read on. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So guess what? Contrary to the doctrine that you've been taught, you've been taught to be a liar. Because the God that you know is not the God of this Bible. You've got a God, you've got a fairy tale God in your head. I didn't say anything about you being perfect. I said that you do not know your father. Look, I didn't call you a liar. This is this is the problem. This is not a personal attack. I'm reading you what God said. Right. This is the difference. What, what did God what, what did God say? Read that. Verse John, chapter two and verse three. So I'm not gonna give you a personal feeling. I don't even know your name. I'm gonna read what, what God said in the book of John. Read on. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Read on. He that says I know him, and keep it not his commandment, is a liar. So the God of heaven and earth said, if you don't keep my commandments, you're a liar. You do not know me. That's what he said. I didn't say it. This is what you need to understand. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Come on. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. See, the truth is coming out. That's why you don't want to listen no more. Because the God that you knew is, is sugar, sugar plums and lollipops and rainbow skittles. He's not the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is a man of war. That's right. The God of the Bible is a man of war. Read it again. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill. What does God say? I kill. There is no God with me. What did God say he does? I kill so the Lord of heaven and earth put those nine people in the church to death. What? The Lord of heaven and earth did that. You you know? Know? And I make a lie. And when you get saved because you've been hit by a car crash, the Lord of heaven and earth is who keeps us alive. You know? I rule and I hear. You know? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Lord God of heaven is the only one that makes fools in the earth. That's it. So you can take a no. That's what I want. First Maccabees 11.21, and then I want the Leviticus 19.7. That's it. Read. 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 Read.
car and, and push them through a brick wall. Where is the love that neighbor has thyself in? Love that neighbor has thyself only applies when white people don't want you to dislike them. Sister, 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 I want you to listen, sister. Sister, right up, tell me more, man. Sister, sister, beloved, 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 I just want you to guess what? This is what he's supposed to do. I just want you to listen, sister. Here's the thing. We're not indoctrinating for you. Look what God said what happened to his people. Read that, please. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth, black people are the best people that draw near to God with their mouth. They know the hymn book better than they know the Bible. It's a shuck and a jive, it's a dance, it's a ha-ha. I'm lost in the blood of Jesus. It's a show, it's a party. Read on. And with their lips, do honor me. Because everybody says I'm a child of God, and then they go smoke a butt and go into the club. They're hypocrites. Read on. But have removed their heart from it from me. How do we, that God says that his people are all lip service, but the heart is more far from them. How is that? Because the same people that call themselves Christians are the biggest whores. They're the biggest whore mongers. They're the biggest liars. They don't know how to raise their children. Excuse me. They come up with false doctrines to trick the people into doing what they want to do. There was a man in Colombia that said that God's holy milk comes out of his penis. He was tricking women into sucking his penis because he was holy. Our people have removed their heart far from God because any righteous woman that read the Bible would know that that's false. Watch this though. Read on. But have removed their heart far from me. He said, your mind is far from God. Read on. And their fear toward me, your fear towards God, your understanding about the creator of heaven and earth, read, is taught by the precept of men. It's taught by the precept of men. Now, let me ask you a question, sis. In 1492, they, the, 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 the British, oh, excuse me, the Spanish, in, in 1492, the Spaniards were taking the, the, the so-called Hispanics and so-called Latinos as slaves and teaching them Catholicism. In 1619, the British were taking so on black people and teaching them Christianity. So everybody that's in the church up until this very day, where did they get their understanding from? Who, who did they get it from? They didn't even come from the Bible because you were because on Sunday you couldn't read, you couldn't write, you had to sit and listen to your a slave master teach you about high the God, love thy neighbor as thyself. Your, the, every, all of our people's understanding about God is a slave doctrine. That's why when he says love thy neighbor as they say, he has to be quiet because his people have never loved us. Right. Not never. That's right. And they prove it every day. They prove it every day. And guess what? This is right. And guess what? I have no problem with that. I'm completely fine with the fact that the majority of his people hate my people. Wanna know why? Because I'm an Israelite and God loves me. Watch this. Give me Amos chapter, uh, what's it, no, Joel chapter 2. I'm going to show you something about, this is the difference between being a black man, being a black woman, and realizing that you're an Israelite man and woman. I'm going to ask you a question. I just want you to hold your peace. I'm going to answer you a question. This is the difference, Joel 2 chapter 27. Because there's a difference between the so-called white man whose biblical name is Esau, and the so-called black and Hispanic man whose biblical name is Israel. Now read that, please. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. I'm sorry. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God says that he is in the midst. He is among his people, the Israelites, who are now called blacks and Hispanics. Physically, they, we are the Israelites. Read on. And that I am the Lord your God, the most high heaven and earth, who said, I'm the God of the Israelites, who are now called blacks and Hispanics. But biblically, we are the nation of Israel. When you are from Judah, y'all are from Israel. Pull them out. Pull them out. Where are you from? What tribe are you from? You from Ben Say it loud. What tribe are you from? That's what I'm saying. What tribe are you from? You from Simeon, brother. What tribe are you from? Where you from? Brother, what tribe are you from? Say it loud. You from get say it loud. The word Latino comes from the word Latin, which you don't speak nor do you like. Yes. The word black is a color and a color box, which means we are not black. Yes. So guess what? We don't get what's wrong. Guess 
what? You're not even white. You're red. The blood shows through your skin, which makes you red and pink. You're not even white. You're not, you're not the color of the page of this Bible. You're pink. I told him to hold on. I never said I wouldn't speak to him. I told him not speaking to y'all because y'all caused a disruption. I'll speak to him. Now, wait a second. See, see, see what white Jesus teach you? He teach you to hate black folks and love white folks. He's, he's showing proof. He's, hold on. If you are a representation of Jesus, when did Jesus flip off people? Right. When did he, when you read that in the Bible? I thought you was a representative. You got Jesus around your neck. Is that what Jesus would do? No, it's not. Exactly. Yes, because he was a man of war. That's what he said. That's why he said they cast lots for my vesture. Why? Because it was a goodly and beautiful vesture. Right. Just like these are. That's how I know y'all are not men of God. Right. Number one, you ain't Israelites. Number two, you do nothing what the Bible says. Right. Now read that, please. That's right. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. There you go. I spoke to you. Now, brother, I want you to listen to this. Brother, sister, listen to this. Read that. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So God says that he's among your people. He's not among all people. He said he's among your people. He said, I, and that I am the Lord your God. He says what? I am the Lord your God. If I say I am your mama, I'm your father. Does that include everybody that's out here? No, but it's between me and you. He says what? I am the Lord your God. He said this is exclusive. I'm the Lord your God. We are Japan. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Read, read that precept again. I want you to, because this is the thing. We've been taught slave doctrines for so long that when we hear and read the words on the page, it don't make sense. This is what the God of heaven and earth said. Read that. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. He said, I'm the Lord, my God, and nobody else. So where do we get God's love on people? Yes, He created them all. But He said in all the second that He created each one to be a vessel of destruction. So where is God? Where does God love everybody? Here's the thing. The stuff in the Christian and Christian church is completely contrary to what it says in the Bible. That's why you have to study for this. That's why it says you have to study for this. Study to show myself for you. And as you study, you have to look. Keep God's commandments. You want a piece of paper? Here's the thing. The piece of paper does you no good because you're not in Israel. Right. So it's not it's not that we don't like you, it's just not for you. How is that racist when I said it's not for him? That's it. That's it. Is race in the Bible? Is race in the Bible? No? Is race in the Bible? You know what I mean? I'm listening. How do you know that I'm not Israelite? How do you know where I come from? What I've been through? Who my family is? How do you know this. who I am? Watch this. Hey, brother, sister, I want you to pay attention. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to find out if, if race is in what? the Bible. Read that, please. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 9. Wait a second, he got a piece of paper, and now he's not happy. Right. He got a piece of paper. Now, now we're going to see if race is in the Bible. Hey, brother, hey, brother, hey, brother, look, don't be mad, brother, don't be mad. Brother, this is why I don't want to pay them. They got an anger problem. I want you to play. I have an Israelite. I want you to pay attention. Give me a fuck up piece. All right, read that piece. Hey, brother. Sirach, chapter 26, verse 20. Watch this, watch this. Sir, you can't have it. It's not for you. I know you're upset, but it's not for you. Right. Now, read that piece. Hey, it is what it is there. Hey, that's right. It is what it is there. Hey, that's right. Marry 
Jesus and put seed in her and bring up children. Right. So he's talking about being pro, he's talking about procreate, having children, right? We know. Sow it with thine own seed. Because your seed better than you. Tish, tish, tish. I want you to listen to this for a second. He says, when you get a fruitful position, like you know what you like to say, sow it with your own seed. The seed is your sperm. That's what we call our children I want. It's my seed right here, right? He says, sow it with your own seed. We all trusting in the goodness of thy stock. See, the problem is, is that most black and Hispanic people, they, they go outside of their nation because they don't trust that their lineage, that their beauty is the top beauty. Right. They think they want to be half Chinese. They want to be part white. They want to be half Indian. But the Bible says you have to trust in the goodness of your stock. Right. Read on. Verse 21. So thy race, so your what? Thy race, so your what? Thy race, which thou leavest. So he said, when you get a woman, when you get a fruitful possession, put seed in her, trusting in the goodness of your stock, so your race may continue. So that's the race, so race is in the Bible. That's right. That's right. That's right. Here's the thing. I'm not, I, I'm, I don't go Race to is, race is, is it? I, I read the Dumbasses. You guys pick and choose. You guys are so full of crap. Oh, sorry, was that in your way? Sorry, was that, was that in the way? This is the problem oh, that I Sorry, I thought, I know you're trying to film. You can be as dirty look as you want. Eat shit about. So don't even worry about it. But there's no difference between Jew and Greek. Because you don't even understand uh -huh. that the Jews were made into being the Greek during the Greek captivity. When Alexander the Great was one of the earth, and the Greeks. That's why it says that there. They don't even understand that. The, 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 the point is, you have to understand who you are and where you come from so that you can know who your enemies are in the war that you're in. There's, there, there's a war going on against I thought people. tattoos are good and beast. Drinking beer, smoking weed, I'm pretty sure they are. Holes, that you don't even realize that one group of people is raging war against another group of people. You see it every day. How many news Is that the mark of the beast? Is that what tattoos are? Somebody killing off says don't mark your body with the mark of the beast? And guess what? Give is that what this about? You guys are actually saying? Is that the truth? Here's the thing. That's what uh -oh. you get a pick up a piece. Oh, so yeah, that's what you see. That's not the message at all. Why? Well, now, you know, well, now that you know who your enemies are, you must unite with your people. Right. Stop relying right. upon, upon the slave master right. to fight your battle. Right. Right. They are right. your right. enemies. That's right. You cannot trust your enemies to fight your battles. Right. You black men, Hispanic men, and American men and women, you must stand on your own two feet and right. fight your battles. Right. Because guess what? When you keep God's commandment, then he will fight for us. Yeah. But not before. Hell, Satan! By his own admission, he's the devil the Bible speaks of. So when I say that the so-called white man is the devil the Bible speaks of, I said a personal feeling. That's an admonition. That's right. They admit it. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.